We've been practicing um, metta, cultivating kindness, loving kindness, and and systematically going through the categories uh, one by one, lingering in each one, spending a little more time. And um, we spend some time with the category of uh the being we're having challenges with, either small challenges, big challenges, ourselves as our beloved challenging being. We spend time doing that on Monday. So I like us, I like to invite us to to gently move to the next category, which by the way, includes all the previous categories. Surprise! The next category being all beings everywhere, all beings, all human beings, all animals, all everything, all sentient. It's all sentient beings, actually, in Buddhist practice. Uh, maybe later we'll pr- practice with being all beings, plants and earth and all that, too. But for now, maybe we'll just deal with sentient beings for 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 this uh, session. So so this category, yes, of course, it includes all. It includes our dear being, our benefactor, our good friend. It includes us. It includes the neutral being that we practice with, who is the stand-in for all of humanity. It includes our challenging beings. It just includes everyone. It includes everyone. So it's, um, yeah, it's it. Practicing with this category, which is all beings, allows our heart to really shine, to really shine its goodwill, its kindness um, onto the entire world. And again, there are so many different ways to do these practices, doing them without metaphrases, with metaphrases, and the next few days we'll explore the different different ways. Um, so for for today, what I wanted to invite us, <clears throat> as always, we'll start with just settling with the breath, with the body, and I'll include a lot more silence at the beginning, just so that we settle uh, and and get in touch with our with our bodies and breath. And then, as we turn to all beings, um, I wanted to share. I wanted to bring in. Uh, the Karaniya Metta Sutta um, that has some different categories in here. And I like these different different categories here. I wanted to name them. Um, wishing in gladness and in safety, may all beings be at ease. Whatever li- living beings there may be, whether they are weak or strong, omitting none. The great or the mighty, medium, short, or small, the seen and the unseen, those living near and far away, those born and to be born, may all beings be at ease. I love the poetry of the Karaniya Metta Sutta, those seen and the unseen, born and yet to be born. Oh, how oh, sweet. So I'll evoke some of these categories along with a whole bunch of other categories. And I'll invite you to be as creative as you wish in the way that you would divide beings into different categories. <clears throat> um, I've shared before at some point that there is there is some prayer in, in my culture. I was born in Iran, in the Persian culture, and, and uh, the Azeri, Azerbaijan, which my grandma and mom were from. Anyway, there was this, um, my grandma used to say, all those who were born on a Saturday, on a Sun, on a Monday, Tuesday. So but that's another way to divide, because if you go through the whole week, uh, all beings who are born on these different days, of course, you'll catch everyone. 
So in the same with the carnea metacita, a medium, short, small, big, all sizes, you'll include everyone. So there's so many different ways to cut the pie. That's that's what I'm trying to communicate. And it's, it's totally f- fun to be creative with this particular practice and have fun with all the beings who, who um, are two-legged or who slither, who hop, who this, who that. So anyway, let's just have some fun with expanding our heart, wishing goodwill for all beings. It's supposed to be fun, yes? And, and of course, yeah, it's, it's important. It's our heart's um, dedication. It's heart, our heart's growing and uh, growing in love and care. And it's not supposed to be grim duty. So whatever you love, you have fun with, you want to do more of. So let's have fun with this practice, this beautiful practice of cultivated goodwill.